In the beginning only the Parabrahman existed, a supreme, indescribable reality with infinite potential. The Parabrahman willed the creation of the material universe. The vibration produced the first sound OM. From this, the Mahatattva and the three Gunas Sattva, Rajas, Tamas emerged. The interplay of Gunas brought forth the Panchatattva, five elements, and Prakriti. The five senses and sense organs were created. Narayana manifested and laid on the waters. Narayana's seed in the water led to the formation of Brahmanda, a golden egg. Vishnu entered the egg as the all-pervading one, the preserver. A lotus sprouted from Vishnu's navel and Brahma, the creator, emerged. Brahma split the egg into heaven, upper half, and earth, lower half. Brahma meditated and the four Vedas originated from him. The universe of interlocked circles, Brahmanda, had come into being. Sooner had Brahma brought forth the Vedas than two creatures, Madhu and Kaitaba crawled out from the earwax of Vishnu. The brothers became very powerful and arrogant, confronting Brahma and threatening to destroy his creations. Brahma pleaded with Vishnu for help, but Vishnu was asleep in a deep yoga-like state. Brahma invoked the goddess of sleep, Nidra, to wake Vishnu. Vishnu awoke and transformed into Hayagriva, a horse-headed avatar, to battle the demon brothers. After fighting for 5,000 years, Vishnu realized he could not defeat them through strength alone. Vishnu tricked the brothers into asking for a boon from him. When they arrogantly told him to ask a boon of them instead, Vishnu asked them to let him kill them. Vishnu used the brothers' fat to create land on earth. Their bodies disintegrated into twelve plates that became the seismic plates of earth. Brahma was then able to resume his creation, though more troubles awaited. Brahma decorated the earth he had created, forming mountains, rivers, oceans and continents. When it was time to create man, Brahma closed his eyes and four child sages emerged from his mind, the Kamaras. Brahma told the Kamaras to help populate the world through procreation. But they refused, desiring to meditate on the infinite instead. As the Kamaras departed, Brahma felt a violent rage building inside him. From his forehead burst a fiery beam of anger, and from this inferno emerged a fierce being with blazing red eyes demanding to know his name. Recalling the root for red and roar was Rudk, Brahma named him Rudra who was Shiva. The cosmic trinity was complete. Brahma asked Shiva to help create mortal life. But Shiva could only create immortal beings like himself. He spawned eleven identical Rudras. With failures from both Kamaras and Shiva, Brahma resumed the reins of creation, though more trouble awaited. Created seven celestial sages called the Saptarishi. Dharma was born from Brahma's heart as a bull. Brahma prophesied Dharma would lose one foot each yuga as virtues declined. In Satya Yuga, Dharma has four feet as all virtues are practiced. In Trita Yuga, it will have three feet as austerity is given up by many. In Dwapar Yuga, it will have two feet as purity is foregone by many. In Kali Yuga, Dharma will only have one foot as compassion vanishes from people's hearts. More beings like Agni, Kamadeva, Deksha, Vishwakarma and Narada were born from Brahma. Narada refused to aid Brahma in creation, seeking only spiritual bliss. Angry at the refusal, Brahma cursed Narada to become a celestial singer. Shockingly, Narada cursed back that Brahma would fail to control his lust. Brahma was distraught, thinking creation was doomed, when unexpected help arrived. Brahma created Daksha to continue creation. Daksha held a ceremony attended by gods. Shiva disrupted Daksha's ceremony angrily, fighting Vishnu. Brahma stopped their battle, declaring them equal. Feeling frustrated with difficulties in creating, Brahma confessed his troubles to Vishnu, who advised him to seek counsel from Shiva. Shiva appeared as Ardhanarishvara, advising Brahma that creation needs masculine and feminine energies. Empowered by this idea, Brahma created the first human pair, Manu and Brahmi, who would sustain creation. Hence human race is called Manushya or Manava. Brahma felt elated at resolving creation sustenance through humans. But he forgot about Narada's curse that he would fail to control his lust and desire the forbidden, threatening to undo everything. 